What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Call of Duty Vanguard beta. I've been playing for about 7 or 8 hours today. Of course I started playing about 12. Got off about 20 or 30 minutes ago and it's around 8.30 right now where I live. So I've played for a good bit. Took a few breaks here and there but pretty much been playing straight through. Trying to get some gameplay. Trying to give you some you know or get some ideas of what I think so I can give you guys my opinion on it. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what platform you've been playing on. If you've been playing on PS4 or PS5. Of course I've been playing here on PS5. And I have been enjoying it, uh, a lot of it anyway, a good bit of the game I have been enjoying. But in this video, it's going to sound more negative because I want to talk about the things that I think need to be fixed before release. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game. Like I said, let me know if you're playing on PS4 or PS5. Uh, one thing that I think is an issue on all platforms, and I have heard different people talking about stuff on forums and stuff this evening when I was reading them. Uh, about, you know, visuals and things, depending on what platform you're on. But one thing I think we all can agree on on either platform is the sound. The sound is really not that great. You can't really hear footsteps, which in my opinion is not a bad thing considering dead silence is not a perk and it is a field upgrade. I don't really want it to be like Modern Warfare 2019 where no one was really moving around the map unless they had their dead silence popped and then everyone most of the time was just kind of sitting in corners and things. So in my opinion, if you're not going to have dead silence as a perk, the game footstep sound should be fairly quiet. The only thing that I think needs to be fixed with it is on harder surfaces. On this map, for instance, there is a boat there on you know the one side. A lot of people hang out in it. And you really can't hear footsteps on that boat at all. I mean, people can just be running around all around you. And they make zero sound on those harder metal surfaces. And I think that needs to be fixed. I think the harder surfaces should make, you know, some like hard, hard wood surfaces or metal surfaces might should make a little bit of noise. Uh, kind of like this guy that just spawned in front of me. Neither one of us hurt each other and we're running around on a metal surface. I think that should maybe be a little bit louder. But if you're not going to have dead silence as a perk, I don't really have a big issue with footstep sound being a bit quieter. Because if not, you're just going to be able to, you know, hear everyone. You kind of just sit in the corner and just sound whore everybody. And that doesn't really make the game a lot of fun, in my opinion. The other thing I think they should do is probably quieten your own footsteps and probably your teammates' footsteps down just a bit. Because those are extremely loud to me, in my opinion. And I am using my Astro... Um, my A40TRs, now I do have them plugged into my PS5 controller. I'm not using the mix amp. I have not purchased the splitter yet. But um, so it is still no matter, it seems no matter what you're using, all the comments I've heard so far from people playing on PS4 and PS5 is they can hear themselves and their teammates, but not really hear anyone else. And like I said, if dead silence is not going to be a perk, I don't have a huge issue with that. But I do think there needs to be a few things fixed. Another issue that I have been experiencing on PS5 with sound is it sometimes cuts out real bad and starts just, you know, cutting out and you can't really hear anything. And I've noticed sometimes the game starts to lag at the same time. So I'm not sure if there's an issue, you know, it kind of ties in those two together. Another thing that I'm not a big fan of is the streaks being grouped together. So what I mean by that is if you want to run a UAV and a counter UAV, you cannot do that. It's broken them up kind of like Modern Warfare did uh, in Modern Warfare 2019. And of course, Black Ops Cold War did when the game first came out. And of course, that did change later on. But it has the kill streaks kind of grouped together. UAV, counter UAV, all that kind of stuff. Care packages all together. So you have to pick one. So you're going to be running something, you know, at like three and four kills. Maybe something at six or seven. And then, you know, kind of so on. I wish you could kind of run just whatever you wanted. If you want to run a UAV, counter UAV, personal UAV, uh, you could run all three of those. I kind of hate that they break that up to where you have to pick between a UAV and a counter. Some people may not mind that, but it's just kind of a thing that I really didn't care for in Modern Warfare 2019 or in Cold War. And I was really happy when they changed that in Cold War. I thought that was for the best, in my opinion, just personally. Um, another thing that I I can say about it, and I know I said a lot of this is going to be kind of negative, but one thing I really do like about it is the movement and the graphics are really nice on PS5. And I know it's not the same on PS4. You know, a lot of people are saying it's harder to see people on PS4, and it is at times hard to see people on PS5, and I'll get to that here in just a second. But the graphics and the movement are really nice on uh, next-gen consoles, it seems. Um, I will say the movement feels a bit better than Modern Warfare, but it does feel a lot like Modern Warfare and Warzone. So if you like the movement of those games, you're probably going to like the movement of Call of Duty Vanguard. Uh, one issue that I had in the Alpha, uh, the Champion Hill Alpha that I still have now, is the muzzle flash. It has been toned down. It's not as bad when it splashes when you're shooting at somebody. But sometimes if you don't have a muzzle on that's going to kind of reduce that muzzle flash some of the the flash is still really really bad in my opinion and it does obscure your target because it is so bright and so big kind of coming off you know off of your gun that it's just kind of annoying at times the same can be said with this death machine as you guys are going to see this thing is dangerous <laughs> if you shoot it anywhere close to a wall it kind of splashes back on you 
But sometimes you will lose enemies even with this because it's just so much, uh, you know, muzzle flash at times if they're within a close range to you. Um, one thing that I think uh, nobody will be surprised when I say this is spawns are not good whatsoever. Uh, a lot of times they're not good in Call of Duty period throughout the entire life cycle of the game. But the spawns in this are horrendous at times. I know a lot of people gripe about spawns, but in my opinion, sometimes it's your placement after you spawn up you run into people and that's really not the game's fault it's more the player's fault but there has been countless uh, times where i have spawned up and someone will be right in front of me or i'll spawn in a room and there'll be enemies in front of me and that has happened a lot especially if you play the kind of mosh pit mode where it'll put you in the 10 v 10 you get in hotel it's just chaos and sometimes you'll spawn right in front of an enemy and sometimes they'll spawn right in front of you and it'll happen several spawns in a row so it'll be like three or four times and you'll just either die or wipe out several people before they can even move and that definitely needs to be adjusted uh, one thing that I, was, I said a few minutes ago that a lot of people were saying on ps4 was visibility i still have an issue with visibility in some areas some areas enemies are really hard to see not necessarily on this map but the map that it snows i can't i have not memorized all the names of the map yet of the maps yet but on the map that it snows when you're outside in the snow and you're looking in it's hard to see people in those dark windows and dark areas it kind of reminds me of how Modern Warfare was when it first came out, when the dark areas were a problem to see players. You know, they had to start adding, you know, ways to lighten up those areas when uh, Modern Warfare or after Modern Warfare was released. And I still feel like that is a problem now. And I think it may just be the engine they're using. You know, it's the same engine they used in Modern Warfare 2019. Um, one thing that I don't like is if you try to improve that by turning up the brightness, the game seems really washed out. And once again, that was the same thing in Modern Warfare 2019. It seems like this engine doesn't really want you to have the brightness turned up. I've actually turned mine down. Um, I, of course, everybody uses different TVs. I use a monitor, a BenQ monitor. But for me, about 45 is the best to me. It looks the best at 45. Anything above 45 on the brightness seems very washed out. Uh, one thing I know a lot of people are going to be talking about is the lobby's disbanding, which is going to make you know the conversation of skill-based matchmaking i just assumed it was going to be in here it's been really bad over the last several years there's always been skill-based matchmaking in cod but it's not as bad as it has been since modern warfare i still assume it's going to be in here especially when we see disbanding of lobbies that just pretty much confirms that it is in the game of course in the beta it's kind of hard to tell i have had some games where you absolutely just stomp people and in the next several games you do not you just get absolutely annihilated so it does feel like it's there but i can't 100 percent confirm that but i do know with a disbanding of the lobbies, it makes it not as enjoyable for some players as it does uh, if you have just like a regular COD lobby system where you can just keep playing the same people over and over, uh, you know, like we've had in past years before Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, the maps, I really like them. I have a few issues. Uh, the hotel map, 10v10, is just chaos. Spawns are awful, so it's just not really a lot of fun. This map, I'm not a huge fan of any central location where people can see all the way across the map from one area. And it seems like if you get on that boat, it's just a lot of bad head glitches, and I kind of wish they would maybe fix that so you can't see all areas of the map on each side from that boat because it does get kind of annoying when a group of people get up there. It's kind of hard to get them off those head glitches, and they pretty much can pick you off on any side of the map. Um, the suppression they've added in, I'm not a big fan of. It kind of gives you a suppression look on your, on your screen, which kind of reminds me of Battlefield, and we all know if you played Battlefield a long time ago, suppression was one of the least favorite things of anybody in the community. I'm not really sure why they decided to add that in to Call of Duty. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, Time to Kill, a lot of people are going to like it. Some are not going to like it, but it does remind me a lot of Modern Warfare 2019. Actually, Modern Warfare 2019 might have been a bit faster, but Time to Kill is not horrible in my opinion, but I know it's a lot different than Black Ops Cold War. And last but not least, I think most of the issues that I've discussed is mainly the same things we saw in Modern Warfare. I'm really curious if it is just the engine that causes these issues from sound to some of the visuals and things of that nature. Um, hopefully a lot of this stuff can get fixed. Uh, I think it's things they can fix. Spawns, visibility, and stuff like that can definitely be fixed. It is an enjoyable game. Of course, I'm going to have some more playtime over the next several days. Uh, of course, to the 13th that this beta lasts, you know, here on PS4 and PS5. And of course, next weekend, everybody's going to get to hop in and play. So I'll really be curious to see how the game is going to play then. And kind of, we'll get a more of an idea of how the dismantling of lobbies and things are going to work. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Like I said, with your thoughts, let me know what you think about the Vanguard beta if you've been playing it. And of course, let me know what you think about it if you've not played it, if you're planning on playing it next weekend or whatever the case may be. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Affiliates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.